you cultivate relationships every single day, go through your phone and look at how much time you spend cultivating relationships electronically. Look at how much time you spend online cultivating social media relationships. If you spend 10% of that, if you tithe off your social media interaction and spent that with God, you would have more fruit in your life in a month than you've had in the last three years. Moses would come down and the glow would diminish. And he would put a veil on his face because he didn't want the people to see the glow go away. Why? Because Moses was a wise leader. He knew people. And the moment they see your shine start to diminish, they start questioning whether or not your relationship with God was real after all. That's why you need real friends in your life who understand that every day is not on the top of the mountain. Some days you are in the valley. It doesn't mean you don't love God. Some days you get it right. Other days you fail. It doesn't mean you don't love God. Some days you're smiling. Other days you're crying. It doesn't mean you don't love God. That's why you got to be careful who you shine around. There are people who have wanted to, to cultivate uh, deeper levels of friendship with me but I've never, I never didn't necessarily feel at peace to build that relationship because you got to know who's who in your life. Everybody's not going to be your best friend. So, you know, this ain't the third grade anymore. Every, you know, everybody's not your best friend. If you got 10 best friends, you have no best friends. If you don't believe me, ask Jesus. Matthew 26, 36. He's sitting in the Garden of Gethsemane, standing, and he says, sit here while I go pray over there. He took Peter, James, and John. There were 11 disciples there. All of them loved him, but only three of them could understand him in that moment. Everybody can't go everywhere in your life. Everybody is not a BFF. So you need to determine who's in your life and for what purpose. And if there are people in your life that are not serving a specific purpose, then they need to be redirected to the outer court of your life because everybody does not deserve access. Just trying to help y'all. The reason why Moses would put the veil on his face is because the people then, like they are now, are prone to look for humanity, the frailty of your humanity in order to disqualify the touch of divinity on your life. When you are developing your relationship with God, make sure you are surrounded by people who understand you are in the process. You are walking this thing out. You are not fully actualized. You're growing. And because you're developing, there are some things you'll do well and others you won't. But what you don't need in that process are judgmental voices, condescending voices, angry voices, snide voices. <laughs> you look at you went to church and you still messing up. Look, you were singing. I saw you with your hands up and you still failed. Look at you. Oh, man, you might as well not go. That is the devil trying to discourage you and tell you that this is not real. But little does the devil know that even though we can't see the changes on the outside, something has been seeded deep down on the inside. And eventually, if you keep sowing into that ground, something is going to grow. But what people think is the growth should be overnight and automatic. But God doesn't grow things overnight because most of the things that grow, grow under before they grow over. Tell somebody, get some roots. Tell somebody else, get some roots. You want a fully mature oak tree, it could take upwards of 30 years. You want a fully mature mushroom, it could take 12 hours. The difference is, when the mushroom is fully mature, you can pick it up with your hands. But when that oak tree is fully mature, you could run an 18-wheeler into it and it'll be like, oh, for real? Because one has roots. And what you want to begin to cultivate is a rooting structure with God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. That when the storms come, you might bend, but you won't break. You might get hit, but you won't bow down. Leaves may fall, but the branches stay strong. 
am I talking to anybody? When God is your root, when God is your source, when God is your BSF, everything changes and it doesn't matter the season you're in because your God has rooted you in your pre in his presence. Planted in the house of the Lord, they shall flourish in the courts of our God. Somebody give him a praise.